Check this out. This is actually a drone and it flies. I'm serious. You gotta check it out. Check out my unboxing. The good people at RC Moments sent me this really cool Black Knight Cube. Well, actually it's kind of white, but when it's black, it looks like this and it even comes with a controller. This is a, a very interesting drone. I love RC Moment because they always have the coolest drones at that location. At least they seem to anyways. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this drone, check out the camera and then we'll take it for a flight. So here we go. So what do we have inside the box? We have the controller and we actually have the Cube Black Knight. So let's check out the Black Knight first. This is really weird. All right, so here it is. This is the actual drone. Check that out. That is a drone. This is the power button for the drone. And here we have the 720p camera, which is fixed in position, so you can't move it up and down. On the bottom, we have the power source, the battery. Let's fold out the arms. And here we have the battery that's in the drone. It's a 3.7 volt, 550 milliamp battery. That means you're gonna get about five to six minute flight time with a battery like this. And these batteries are quite common. You can pick them up at any hobby store so you don't have to buy them from the manufacturer. And inside the drone, you have just a standard connection to connect the battery to the drone. The construction actually looks really good. If you notice, there's screws everywhere holding it together. It's not glued together. And let's weigh this drone to see how much it weighs with the battery. The battery's inside. What do we have here? 76 grams. Let's check out the controller that comes with this here drone. Well, I have to say it's got a nice rubbery feel on it. Uh, it's going to stay quite secure in one's hand. It's really good. And there's a series of buttons all over the drone and uh, I'll tell you what they are. These would be trim controls. Some of these functions, some of these don't. This is your power button. You push this button here, this joystick to take off, this one to land. Also the joysticks return to center, which is really nice. And on the front you have a button, a button, a button, a button. This is your speed, one, two, three, so three speeds. This puts it in headless mode so that it flies the orientation of your sticks or you can fly normally like a normal drone. And this is your flip key to make it do little flips. And this here is your return to home button. Now remember, on a toy drone, return to home is not return to home like on a DJI or a unique, very expensive professional drone. And on the back of the controller, we have the spot where you put the batteries. And right here, you can see it takes two AA batteries. There's a bunch of goodies at the bottom of the box. Let's check that out. The first one, this would be for your cell phone. Stick your cell phone in here and you would stick this on the controller. It just wraps around like that. And it comes with a screwdriver that you could actually use to disassemble the whole drone if you wish. Also in this bag, you have spare props. You have the charging unit for the battery. Also included in the goodie bag is this little bag of little rubber feet. And those are on the bottom of your drone right here. You have little rubber feet for takeoff. Uh, they must fall off or something because they give you four extra ones. I'm really not sure why. Oh well, it's great that they give them to you. And in the bottom of the box, you have the instructions. All right, I'm gonna charge up this here drone and I'm gonna put batteries in the controller and then we'll test out the camera and then we'll take it for a flight. Here we go. All right, so here I have the drone and here I have the app working and that's my mouth, there's my eyeballs. Okay, so uh, one thing to note about this here camera is check this out, look, I'm moving it. Look at the latency, it's really good. Now I'm going to uh, look behind me and uh, see the quality of the video. Let's see what we see. So. In these videos, I always put stuff on the wall so that I can film. So there's a poster, show some colors. There's my FPV drones down there. All the um, parts and tools I have. There's the computer screen. You probably recognize that photo from a recent event involving the Falcon Heavy. And uh, how does it look? This is recording in 720p. To me on my phone, it looks pretty decent. So I'm uh, gonna break it down. All right. So hopefully that, uh, that worked out quite well. Now let's take it for a flight. Okay, so I have the drone on my favorite coaster and we're about to go for our first flight. One thing to note with this here drone is when you fold up the arms, there's actually little locking mechanism right here. You just flip it and put this in place and it locks the arms in place. So there's four of these on each arm. Power on the controller, move the joystick up and down, we're connected, pull these out, motor started, push this up to start or you could press it down. Give it some power, there's some lift. Bring it over here, bring it back. Bring it nice and close. Here's what the drone sees. That's what the camera sees right now. That's the angle it's pointing at that height. So let's try a few things with it. All right, what speed do I have it in? That's second speed. So this is the second fastest speed right now. 
right here. So I'm going to just bring it down so I don't hit anything. And I'm going to fly it forward into the other room and bring it back. That's pretty fast. All right. So the features of this drone are three speeds to go forward, backward, sideways, all that good stuff. I've got it on the slowest speed for indoors, and it also has a return to home function, which I'm not going to do indoors because it's going to come flying right back at me. It also has a kill the motors function, which will make it fall out of the sky. And it also has a headless function, which means if you don't know how to fly a drone, you put it in headless, and whichever direction you move the joystick, that's the direction it's going to go. And finally, it actually has a flip function, which I guarantee it's going to crash. <clears throat> I'm going to put it on the flip function now, and <laughs> yeah. I'm warning you, this is going to crash. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to do the flip function now, and it's going to try to flip. Here we go. Do it to the right. Whoa, saved it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's why you don't do that indoors. It can get kind of hairy. And the final thing to show you is that if you crash it into a wall, watch this, I'm gonna crash it into a wall. You cannot crash it, watch. It just bounces off. Because the little arms act as prop guards, which is pretty cool. All right, it's getting low in battery power. Uh, so, all right, so I'm gonna bring it down for a nice little landing here. Let's see if I can bring it down here without crashing it. Nice and soft. Whoa, almost pretty good. So the video quality on this is pretty decent and uh, the flight characteristics are really simple to fly. Uh, I can't fly it outdoors because it's really cold and windy outside. I wouldn't take this out there. But other than that, it's a really cool drone for what it is. So this is the part of the video where I'll give you my thoughts on this Black Knight Cube drone. Well, I like things that are different. I don't know any drone that looks like this. You know with that mesh see-through? little ability. I don't know if this will focus on it, but look at that. That's a pretty cool thing. It looks like the Borg off of Star Trek, this little cube. Anyways, uh, I like the idea that you just flip up these little arms and uh, it'd be pretty neat if they were automatic, but they're not, not for the price. So you flip them up and you have a little locking mechanism on the bottom to lock them into place. And then you fly around and that's basically it. And that's your power button up here. One thing that's also really good on this drone is that on the bottom, these are things I really like. The battery, if I pull that out, you see the battery right there? It's very common and you can get it at most hobby stores, which is good. So you can fly with two, three, four batteries. And the camera on here is not too bad either. It's 720p, but it's fixed and it faces a little bit downwards as you saw in the video. You'd, if you're gonna fly it indoors and you want people to be in the shot, you're gonna fly about maybe a foot from the height of the ceiling so that people below will be in the shot. Now, if you're outdoors, you're gonna fly 10 or 20 feet up in the air and everything's gonna look great. One of the great things about this drone that I really like is that the video signal that shoots from here to your phone is low latency. So that means you could sit with your phone and the controller in a chair, in a room, and you could fly this around your house and turn around corners without hitting anything because what you see is almost immediately being sent back to your display on your phone, which is really good. So if you're someone who likes these really odd shaped uh, type drones that are different, well then this is one for you and the price is really good too. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. More video reviews on the way. Take care.